In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the BIM project.cloud in order to access over 1000 Revit families for free. But this is just one of the benefits of the app. There is so much more. Let's go. So how does it work? Well, the best part is that the proper workflow is actually built in into the app. So you start with a web browser based app, you specify your project requirements for a certain family. So let's say you have a light family. So you select the type of light that you want to use some basic dimensions for now. And then BIM project cloud will actually generate a generic light family according to all of these set parameters. And then with the BIM project plugin, you can actually load that into Revit and place it into your project. Then at a later stage of the design process, you can make uh, any necessary changes to these project requirements. And then you can update uh, those parameters in the actual family that's inside of the project. In the end, you can use those project requirements with which you have set in order to search for real products on their database in the app. Once you have selected an actual product, you can update or replace the existing family inside of Revit. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the entire process on a light family example on a wall family example. And then in the end, I'll even show you how you can integrate your own custom shared parameters in Revit with the app. So everything is going to be running smoothly. If you want to check out BIM project cloud, as I've mentioned, it's completely free and I'm going to be leaving a link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. And full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into BIM project. And here we are at the BIM project website, I'm just going to click on get started. And that's going to open up the app. And here the first thing that they want to do is I want to log in that's going to allow me to save all of my specifications. So for that, let's go down here to login. And then I'm just going to create an account. And I'm going to enter my email and also the password, check this checkbox and then click on sign up. Now we just need to confirm that on our email and then we can get started. And I have confirmed my email, you can see here I'm logged in. And now we can get started. So I'm going to start a new specification uh, to select the category because this is going to be a lighting element uh, or a lighting fixture. Let's Let's go to electrical equipment, find lighting, and then let's search for luminaires. Now here we can name our specification, let's name this uh, Lunar 01. The next step is going to be to select the geometry type. So I'm just going to click here. And then you can see all of the possible geometry types. I'm just going to go all the way up and select this one. Now we can uh, set up our preferences or requirements in terms of the uh, dimensions and all of these other properties. So I'm just going to come here to our uh, main uh, dimensions. So let's come here, uh, check this on. And then for the length, I'm going to set that to 100. The width we're going to set also to 100. The height is going to be 200 and the pendant cord length is going to be 250. Obviously, this means that it can be this value or higher. So now once we have confirmed our requested properties, the next step is to insert to our BIM model. And then it's going to open up this page. And it's obvious that the software isn't detected. So this basically means that even though we have Revit turned on, we don't have the plugin turned on in the software. And the reason for that is I haven't downloaded the plugin yet. So I can just click here on download plugin, I can download the Revit plugin here, just by clicking on this button. Or alternatively, you can search for it in the Autodesk App Store for Revit. And when you search for BIM, it's going to be the first option that pops up. Once we have the plugin installed in Revit, it's going to appear over here in the add ins tab here, we can see it the BIM project cloud. Now let's go back to the BIM project website. And I'm just going to go back to where we've left off. And now let's go back one step, go again to insert to model. And then it's going to look a lot different. 
So here we have the create new option. So we're creating this as a new Revit family. Then for the category, it's going to be under lighting fixtures. Obviously, this is something that we have picked uh, a lot earlier on in the process. And then we have the family name and the type name. So you can specify this if you want. I'm just going to leave it as is and then click on create new. What this will do is this will start the process of inserting this into Revit. So if I minimize this, you can see in Revit something is going on. If I go here to level two, now you can see we can place this. So I can just come in here and let's place a couple of these items. Uh, hit the escape key a couple of times, open up section one. Here we have those. And actually let's bring these down. So I'm just going to make a selection here go to move and then I'm just going to move it here at the bottom of this floor. We can turn on 10 lines to see it a bit better. So we have our lighting fixtures. And if I go here to edit type, what you'll notice is we have the dimensions which we have set up, uh, the height, the length, uh, width and so on. Okay, so having done this, let's just click OK. Let's say we now want to make a change with the design process, we decided that this light should be a little bit different. Well, for that, what we can do is we can go back to the website. So this is designed to work kind of parallel. And now here we can make some changes. So for example, the change that I'm going to make here is I'm just going to set the height to 300 millimeters and then the pendant core length. Let's change that to 600. And now with the change made, let's go back to insert to BIM model. And now instead of creating a new, it's going to give us an option to update the selection. And then here we can see the category, the file name and type. We also have the replace selection option. I don't want to replace these. I just want to update them. So let's click on update selected and we can go back into Revit. And as you can see, this is now larger. And if I go into edit type, you can see that the height parameter has changed now to 300. And then for the pendant core length, uh, this uh, here has to be changed in this case manually just because it's a instance parameter. However, if we decide to place a new family, so let's go here to component, place a new one just like that, open up the section. Here you will see if we just move it down. Now the pendant uh, cord length will be set to 600. That's just how parameters are organized in Revit. Now I'm just going to select this family and let's go back to the BIM object website. And here now let's say we're happy with all of the kind of generic specification we have set up. And now it's time to look for a real product and add even more detail. So I'm going to switch here to real product and then let's also add some more requested properties. So in this case, I'm just going to scroll down and then I'm going to find artificial lights and I'm going to change the dimming type. And then also I'm going to change the uh, initial light flux to 1000. This will shortlist our search. And now as you can see, we have these four lights. I'm just going to select the first one. Yeah, I think this is the right one. I want to use this one. So I'm just going to assign this one. And then I'm just going to skip here and then let's go to insert to BIM model. Uh, now here in this case, instead of going to update selection, I'm going to go with replace selection, mainly because we're making a drastic change. I don't want to change only some of the parameters. I'm actually changing the geometry itself. So let's click on replace selection here. I want to create a new family and type. And then for the name, let's just call it my real light. And for the type name, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then let's click on replace selected. Now that's going to go into our Revit model. And as you can see, the uh, data is being imported right now. And the light has been changed uh, to this one, the new one that we have created, the My Real Light. And now when you go into edit type, what you'll notice is we have 
far more parameters. So this is basically pulling in all of the parameters from the actual product from the manufacturer. So we have more parameters and we have an actual product inside of our Revit model. Okay, now moving forward, let's save this specification. So I'm just going to hit save and then let's go back to the beginning. Let's now create a new specification. I'm going to go to structures, find wall buildups, and then let's select the mounted walls. This is going to open up a new specification here. I'm going to name this one wall 01. And now let's set up the properties or requested properties for our main layer. So here you can see this is the main layer that we have and let's set up the properties. So here I'm just going to set the thickness to be 130. The material is going to be plasterboard. The fire rating is going to be EI30 and the under structural, the area weight is going to be 20 kilograms per square meter. Okay, now let's save this and let's create a new layer. So I'm just going to click here. This will be construction boards. And then we get this new menu for setting up the requested properties for those. And then uh, here, I'm just going to make some changes. So for the uh, thickness, I'm going to set this to 12.5 millimeters. And for the material, let's set it up to plasterboard. Then we can just hit save. And now we have that new uh, layer here. Now I just want to duplicate this layer. And then let's move the new one up. So we have one on outside and one on inside and this is the main layer. I'm just going to change the thickness of this one to 80 millimeters and now we have everything set up. Now before we insert this into the BIM model, I'm just going to minimize this for a second and let's select one of the walls here. So now when I open this back up and go to insert to BIM model, uh, what you're going to notice is that we have all of the same settings as we had before for that lighting. And here I'm going to first use the update selection. So what this will do is when I click update selection and when I go into Revit, it's just going to update this selection and it's going to give us uh, all of the parameters inserted here. However, it's not going to change the geometry. So what I prefer to do in these cases and what's the, the best approach is to go to insert to BIM, but instead of update selection, I'm going to go to replace selection. Here for the category, I'm going to leave it at walls. The family name is going to stay the same. And for the type, I'm just going to leave it at this. I'm just going to click on a replace selected. And then let's minimize this and go into Revit. As you can see, it is now working on replacing that. Now this wall has been replaced. Obviously, if I've selected more walls in the model, it would replace those as well. And now you can see that uh, not only the geometry is changed, but also if I select it, go into edit type and go into structure. Here we can see we have that same structure as we've set it up in the uh, BIM project. But also if I open up the layers here, you can see that these uh, layers are uh, now the, the layers that we have set up in BIM project. So that's really important. And finally, I'm going to be showing you how you can assign your own shared parameters to be used with the BIM project uh, families. So here under my specifications, I already have this basic window, window one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this one and let's then open it up. And here, let's change this to window two. Okay, so once we have this, let's go to real product and then let's pick out one of these real products. I'm just going to pick this one and let's click on assign. Got it. And then let's insert this into the model. So I'm going to go here to insert. Let's create a new family. We can leave the name as is and then let's create new. Now let's go back into Revit. And now it's loading in the uh, family in Revit. Let's give it a second. Here we go. And I'm just going to place that family over here. So there we go. We have our window placed. Uh, okay, so now let's go back. So I'm just going to open up uh, my web browser again. And now let's assign shared parameters. Uh, so if I decide to go here into settings, and then let's go to integrations. Okay, and let's create a new parameter mapping 
set for rabbit it's going to look like this so now we have to upload our shared parameters file so i'm going to click here it's going to open up uh, the browser select the shared parameters text document hit open and now as you can see we have all of the parameters here so it's going to be showing me these are the BIM project cloud parameters and these are my shared parameters from Revit. So here, for example, I have my height, my width, and I've just added this, my prefix to these. And then what I can do here is I can just search for height and then let's just assign height here. Let's expand this, let's set the width as well. And down here for windows, for example, for my glazing type, let's just search for glazing type. Here we go, assign that and so on and so forth. So once you have assigned this uh, configuration, you can just click save here, got it. There we go. So now this uh, we can set as active. And now if we go back and let's go back from settings to our uh, window. So this is our new window. Okay, I think it is. I didn't save the naming. So let's just save that. Okay. Uh, now if I again pick that product, I'm just going to select the first one here assign it and then let's insert that into the BIM model and in this case let's go to replace selection and now we have to select an instance inside of our Revit model so I'm just going to select this window here go back and now I can create a new family so let's call this one my shared set and then let's click on replace selected and now we can go back into Revit. And as soon as it's done, what you can notice now, if I open up here, edit uh, type, what you can notice is for the parameters, it's using my height, my width. So it's basically using my shared parameters uh, for, well, for the parameters for this family. So it's a really good integration with Revit shared parameters. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. We're going to conclude it here. Of course, there is much more to learn about the BIM project. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'm going to be leaving a link. As I said, it's going to be up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. And if you would perhaps like to see more videos, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And also, I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.